What's up, y'all? I'm Dr. Doodaryl. I'm back with my good brother, Taylor, from Recumber Foods. We got the bee's knees. Damn, Lonnie, you got me off of Molly. Yeah, so what we're doing today is the Varroa mite inspection, which was made by the University of Minnesota Bee Squad, University of Maryland, and the University of Michigan. So what we have here is the jar that we put the bees in, 100 milligrams, which is about 200 to 300 bees. So we take this cup, put it inside here, have powdered sugar, and place it on top, inside the jar, shake, shake, shake up, and then like a pepper shaker, you put it inside this box here. It's white, and you'll be able to see uh, the Varroa mites. So that, this is just the beginning, the tutorial on uh, how to do it, what the process is uh, before we go inside the hive. So opening up the hive fully, you smoke the four corners of the hive. I can hear a lot of activity going on in here. A lot of activity going on. They sound upset. Already, yeah. What's in the smoker? Um, brown paper, actually. And I cleared out a lot of the bees that were actually up here. So, so we're gonna take this off here. I'm actually gonna do some inspecting, see what's going on here, see how the bees are doing. I did so earlier, but let's check again. Nothing has been laid yet but they are um, making a lot of wax here a lot of wax okay. i'm trying to get a frame trying to get a decent amount of bees so we can do a uh, the mite inspection so i'm searching to see what would the best frame would be to do that so Seems like this frame would be the best frame to do so. So what's going to happen is that, because you need to back up. Is, oh, don't gotta tell me. <laughs> what's going to happen is I'll bang this. Okay. Well, I need to. I need to make sure I'm ready. We'll put this here first. And why are you banging it again? Uh, to put the bees down so I can scoop them up. So I'm getting everything ready here. It gotta be with us. Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, it'll be fine. So I can scoop them up from here. Famous words. Yeah. <laughs> Bang this. Hell no. It goes like that. Okay. Scoop, and we scoop, and we scoop, and we scoop, and we scoop. And we go with the scoop, scoop, scoop. Let's see how many we have here. Okay. Says somebody getting stung today. I don't think so. I think we're good. It's gonna be me. Decent amount here. This goes back on. Okay. This goes back inside. Okay. Everybody's just chilling on the outside here, right? We have a decent amount here. Maybe we can do some more, right? Let's see if we can possibly do some more. It looks like there's a couple bees inside. You know what I'm saying, right? Okay, so now that we have our bees here, which is like 200 to 300 bees, you know, going on here, uh, we're going to put this powdered sugar in, okay? Um, 
and the reason why we're gonna put this powdered sugar in uh, is so uh, we can tell where the mites are. So we're gonna shake it like a salt shaker into here after we're done. Um, and this is actually economically better for the bees than an alcohol wash. Due to the alcohol wash will actually kill the bees. This will just shake them up and I can be able to return these bees back um, into their hive. This is two tablespoons of powdered sugar in here. it all sifts in see nobody's dying, Bees are dying here. we're gonna have them we're gonna shake them around after all this is in for about two minutes make sure they get all that sugar you know on their bodies it is something that they like they're just crawling around in it right now all right so we have two tablespoons of powdered sugar in here and mix it around it's not killing them just making sure that it's on all their amounts all their body here so, I want to remind people this is not killing the bees okay we don't kill the bees we save them yep we love the bees <laughs> so just make sure you just have it sit there Get all into it. Now that we have the bees inside here, uh, they've been sitting for about one to two minutes. We're gonna shake like a pepper shaker inside here. We're gonna shake all the sugar out. And this is not harming the bees at all. Okay, so bees are still alive. After that, in order to see the mites, because we may not be able to see them, place water inside here in order to see mites, okay? If you're looking, you can see a couple here. You see one, two. It's those black dots? Yeah, three, four. They mighty. Five. Six. It's not too bad actually. Out of a hundred, that's not too bad. Actually, that may just be one. It looks like one, that's it. Just that big black one. Maybe another one over there, but maybe two. They're actually pretty healthy. Let's continue to shake. Let's see if we're missing some here. We shouldn't be though. They're actually pretty healthy. These bees are pretty healthy. Y'all blessed. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. And they're still alive. More life, more everything. <laughs> and this is how you do a, a, a sugar mite inspection. And we're gonna place these bees back inside the hive. All right. Technically, what I could do is place them up top here. I don't even want to place them back inside the hive. That's going to be too live right now. Yeah, we out. Going flights. Okay. This episode was brought to y'all by Cumber Foods. Y'all know the vibes. Like and subscribe.